1969, Cactus Flower brought together a stellar cast featuring Walter Matthau, Ingrid Bergman, and Goldie Hawn, who later won an Academy Award for her performance, adapted by I.L. Diamond from a Broadway play of the same name. This classic comedy film directed by Gene Sachs became the ninth highest grossing movie of that year. Hans portrayal in the film remains a standout moment in her career. She truly shined in this role, showcasing her talent and versatility on the big screen. Her captivating performance added depth and charm to this comedy gem, making Cactus Flower a delightful and memorable cinematic experience. The film's success and enduring popularity are testaments to the exceptional performances delivered by the cast and the captivating storytelling that continues to captivate audiences to this day. In this classic from 1969, Goldie Hawn portrays Tony Simmons, a 21-year-old who, heartbroken after being stood up by her lover, Dr. Julian Winston, contemplates ending her life. Walter Matthau embodies Dr. Julian Winston, an older dentist who crafts the facade of being a married man with children to shun emotional entanglements. The movie delves into the unexpected twists and turns of their intertwined lives, weaving a tale of love, deception, and self-discovery that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats. As Tony and Dr. Winston navigate the complexities of their relationship, the audience has taken on a journey of laughter, introspection, and poignant moments that define the human experience. Cactus Flower stands as a timeless exploration of love's transformative power and the intricacies of human connections. Stephanie, played by Ingrid Bergman, is a key character in the film who serves as Julian's assistant and helps him maintain his web of deception. She is supportive and resourceful, often covering for him when needed. The plot thickens when Tony, another central character, attempts suicide due to his emotional turmoil. However, his attempt fails thanks to the timely intervention of Igor Sullivan, portrayed by Rick Lentz, who lives next door. This incident deepens the complexity of their relationships. In an unexpected twist, Julian decides he wants to marry Tony, but realizes he must first obtain a fake divorce to keep the ruse intact. To facilitate this plan, Stephanie takes on the role of Julian's soon-to-be ex-wife, stepping into a situation that requires her to navigate the delicate dynamics between the characters. Her involvement highlights her loyalty and willingness to help Julian, even as the stakes rise. The interplay between these supporting characters enriches the narrative adding layers of humor and tension as they work through the challenges of love and deception. In 1969, the film marked Ingrid Bergman's return to a Hollywood soundstage since the 1940s. The Broadway play was a comeback vehicle for Lauren Bucall who played Stephanie but was replaced by Bergman in the movie. Cactus Flower showcases the talents of these two iconic actresses in a story filled with comedy, romance, and charm. Bergman's return to the big screen brought a new depth to the character, while Bukal's original portrayal on stage left a lasting impression on audiences. The film's success solidified its place in cinematic history, capturing the hearts of viewers with its engaging storyline and memorable performances. Cactus Flower remains a classic that continues to be enjoyed by audiences of all ages, even today. In the 1969 movie Cactus Flower, Tuesday Weld was initially offered the role of Tony Simmons, but declined. It eventually went to Goldie Hawn. In a record store scene, Tony holds an album of MAME, a nod to the director Gene Sachs. Marcia, Tony's co-worker is uncredited despite having significant screen time and dialogue. The movie pays homage to Gene Sachs through subtle references, and Goldie Hawn shines in the role originally meant for Tuesday Weld. Despite Marsha's impactful presence, her role remains uncredited, highlighting the behind-the-scenes intricacies of casting decisions 
and screen credits in the film industry. Cactus Flower stands as a classic example of a comedy drama that showcases the talent of its cast and the director in a light-hearted yet meaningful narrative. Barry Nelson, originating the role of Julian Winston on Broadway, was revered for his consistent performance. Despite starring in the original production, Nelson's portrayal continued to captivate audiences in the movie. A memorable scene took place in an art gallery, where a line referencing a geometric painting was retained in the film, even though the visual centerpiece of the scene was a round sculpture. This juxtaposition added an intriguing layer to the character interaction reflecting the dynamic nature of the film's storytelling. Cactus Flower beautifully weaved together moments of humor and depth showcasing Nelson's talent and the creative choices that brought the narrative to life on screen. In Cactus Flower, Quincy Jones' music brings a unique touch with instrumental versions of the monkey songs playing in nightclub scenes. Walter Matthau and Ingrid Bergman shared the screen at 435th Avenue, close to Tiffany & Co., in a memorable filming location. The movie features the Mexican Missile Drink, a real cocktail concoction with tequila, gin, and various other ingredients, adding an interesting element to the story. These musical and filming choices contribute to the overall charm an ambiance of this classic film. In 1950, Ingrid Bergman's affair with director Roberto Rossellini caused a scandal, damaging her reputation and career in the U.S. Bergman moved to Italy with Rossellini and eventually revived her career, continuing to star in American films until her death in 1982. This classic brought audiences on a journey through Bergman's tumultuous personal life and the impact it had on her professional endeavors. Despite the initial controversy, Bergman's resilience and talent shone through, leading to a remarkable comeback and a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. The film captured the essence of a woman who faced public scrutiny but rose above it, showcasing her exceptional acting skills and enduring spirit. Cactus Flower, the 1969 movie, made a lasting impact in the world of cinema. It was celebrated for its comedy and charm, winning an Academy Award for actress Goldie Hawn. This classic influenced future romantic comedies with its witty humor and engaging storyline. Its legacy lives on through its influence on the genre. The themes of love, honesty, and self-discovery explored in the film remain relevant today resonating with audiences across generations. Its enduring popularity. Its enduring popularity showcases the timeless appeal of well-crafted storytelling and memorable characters. Cactus Flower continues to be a beloved film that captures the essence of romantic comedies, making it a timeless classic in movie history. When assembling the cast for the 1969 movie Cactus Flower, the casting process was meticulous. Lead actor Walter Matthau was selected for his exceptional comedic timing and charm bringing life to the character of Julian Winston. Ingrid Bergman's elegant and versatile talent secured her as the perfect fit for the role of Stephanie Dickinson. Goldie Hawn's bubbly personality and infectious energy shine during auditions making her the ideal choice for the role of Tony Simmons. Chemistry tests between the actors solidified their dynamic on screen, ensuring a seamless and engaging performance. Pivotal moments during auditions and rehearsals defined the casting, leading to a memorable ensemble that captured the essence of the film. The directorial vision behind the 1969 movie Cactus Flower was focused on bringing the story to life in a light-hearted and comedic way. The director aimed to infuse the film with a sense of playful charm 
and witty humor. Their creative influences were drawn from classic romantic comedies of the time, seeking to capture the essence of light-hearted entertainment. In terms of style, the director approached the film with a colorful and vibrant visual aesthetic, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere for the audience. They utilized a blend of romantic elements and comedic timing to keep viewers engaged throughout the narrative. Collaborating with the cast and crew, the director fostered a sense of camaraderie and teamwork on set. They encouraged improvisation and allowed the actors to bring their own unique flair to the characters, resulting in authentic and lively performances. The director's open communication style allowed for creative input from all involved, contributing to a dynamic and cohesive production process. Overall, the directorial vision behind Cactus Flower was one of creating an enjoyable and entertaining cinematic experience that celebrated love, laughter, and the joy of human connection. The production of the 1969 movie Cactus Flower involved intricate set design to create the ambiance of the era. The locations chosen added authenticity bringing the story to life. Filming faced challenges like unpredictable weather and scheduling difficulties. Innovative techniques such as using new lighting equipment and camera angles were employed to enhance the visual appeal of the film. These advancements in technology added a modern touch to the production, making Cactus Flower a standout movie of its time. The musical score and soundtrack for the 1969 movie Cactus Flower were crafted to enhance the narrative and emotional tone of the film. Composers and musicians worked diligently to create music that reflected the uplifting and comedic essence of the story. Through lively tunes and soothing melodies, the music seamlessly blended with the on-screen actions, adding depth to the characters and scenes. By collaborating closely with the filmmakers, the music creators ensured that every note and rhythm resonated with the audience, evoking laughter and empathy in all the right moments. The result was a harmonious marriage between sound and visuals, enriching the overall movie-watching experience. In the 1969 movie Cactus Flower, one iconic scene is when Julian Winston, played by Walter Matthau, confesses his true feelings to Stephanie Dickinson, played by Ingrid Bergman. The emotional depth portrayed by the actors resonates with viewers as Winston's vulnerability and redemption unfold. The direction in this scene, overseen by director Gene Sachs, captures the nuances of love and forgiveness, drawing the audience into the character's inner turmoil. Another pivotal moment is the comedic exchange between Winston and Igor Sullivan played by Rick Lenz, showcasing impeccable timing and chemistry between the actors. The cinematography skillfully contrasts light-hearted moments with poignant revelations, heightening the impact of each scene. Filmmakers and actors alike have noted the significance of these sequences in shaping the narrative and engaging the audience on a profound level. The 1969 movie Cactus Flower made a significant cultural and social impact by resonating with audiences through its comedic and heartwarming storyline. The film, starring Goldie Hawn, addressed themes of love, relationships, and the complexities of human emotions in a light-hearted manner. It influenced pop culture by popularizing the romantic comedy genre and launching Goldie Hawn's successful acting career. In discussions on relevant social and cultural themes, Cactus Flower highlighted the importance of honesty and trust in relationships, challenging societal norms around love and commitment. Its success paved the way for more diverse and authentic portrayals of love in mainstream media, contributing to a shift in societal attitudes towards romantic relationships. The critical reception of Cactus Flower was largely positive, with many praising its unique blend of comedy and romance. Critics highlighted the performances of the main cast, particularly Goldie Hawn, who
who received acclaim for her portrayal of a naive yet lovable character. Reviews noted that her charm brought a fresh energy to the film, making it memorable. Walter Matthau's comedic timing and Ingrid Bergman's depth also garnered attention, contributing to the overall success of the movie. Audience reactions were similarly enthusiastic, with many enjoying the film's witty dialogue and engaging story. In terms of accolades, Cactus Flower won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for Goldie Hawn, marking a significant achievement in her career. This win not only recognized her talent, but also boosted the film's profile in Hollywood. The film received additional nominations, including for Best Adapted Screenplay, showcasing the strength of its writing. These awards meant a lot for everyone involved, as they confirmed the film's impact and solidified its place in cinematic history. The recognition helped elevate the careers of those associated with the project, making it a noteworthy contribution to the film industry. During the filming of the 1969 movie Cactus Flower, there was a light-hearted moment when Ingrid Bergman's phone kept ringing during a crucial scene. Goldie Hawn, who was relatively new to acting, couldn't contain her laughter. Fortunately, the entire cast and crew joined in, turning a potentially frustrating situation into a memorable bonding experience. In another instance, Walter Matthau impressed everyone with his wit and improvised lines, adding a new layer of humor to the script. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the camaraderie and creativity that shaped the making of Cactus Flower. Who are you? Who is that? Cactus Flower holds a significant place in film history as a 1969 movie that popularized the romantic comedy genre. Its influence on future filmmaking is evident in its innovative storytelling and character dynamics. Subsequent works drew inspiration from its comedic elements and character-driven narratives. The movie's legacy lies in its ability to charm audiences with its witty dialogue and engaging plot, setting a benchmark for romantic comedies to come. I managed. I knew you. Oh, you knew I would. Well, I didn't know I would, but I did. Have you watched the 1969 movie Cactus Flower? Share your experiences and memories with us. How did this film impact you personally and influence your perspective on cinema? Engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more cinematic explorations. Your stories matter. Let's celebrate the power of film together. Is that that dirty rat, Julia? Oh, he's not a dirty rat. He's a dentist.